what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i'll show you how i made this biker shot so let's get started for this tight i folded my fabric into four places and then i left one inch extra for the back panel and then the next thing i'll do is to take the length so i'm using four for the band for the waistband so the length of my tight is going to be 24 inches and then I'll add two inches for seam allow allowance and then the crouch of my tight is going to I'm going to use 10 inches for the crouch and then the next thing is to divide your your waist measurement into four places so I have eight inches and then I'll add five half an inch for for sewing allowance or for seam allowance and then on this line I'll be taking the hip measurement so you divide your hip measurement by four inch or you divide your hip measurement by four. I have nine. 36. So I divide it. I have nine. And then we use whatever we have left, which is like one and a half for the crouch extension. So I'll make a curve line here. And then I'll draw the waistline down to the hip line and down to the crotch for the ties I'll, I'll be using you measure your ties measurement by two whatever you have I'll be using nine for this and then I'll add half an inch for seam for seam allowance and then I'll draw the line down So the tight is going to be right above my knee. And then I'll cut the front part of the for the back panel I'll be adding one inch extra. And then for the tie, I'll add a half an inch. So I've added one inch extra for the back here and then added half an inch on this side. And then I'll make a notch here. And then I'll cut. Then I'll open it and for the front panel I'll take one inch downwards and then draw a line from the notched part a slant line And then I'll cut. So here's the front and here's the back parts. With the right sides facing each other, you go ahead and join with your sewing machine. You join the front side and then you join the back side together. On this line I marked, you just sew along. And I'll come back to show you the next step. So here's mine. I've joined the both sides together. The next thing is to take the the crouch 
to crouch front crouch and back back crouch and you pin it together and then you go ahead and sew from here you sew from here down to the end of the other tie so you sew it down so you're going to sew from here down to here so here's what i have the next thing is to cut the waistband so remember that your waist measurement is 32 or my waist measurement here is 32 i'll go ahead and cut the band now i want the band to be four inches wide so for the length of the band you're going to use your waist measurement divide divided by two so i have 16 inches and then i use one inch for the seam allowance and then i've cut two pieces i've cut two pieces of the same size so i have waist measurement divided by two which is 16 and one inch extra for allowance and then the next thing is to face with the right sides facing each other. I'm going to sew along with half, half an inch. Sew a straight line here and then sew a straight line here. And then I'll be back to show you the next step. So after joining both sides together, I'm going to fold it like this. And then pin it. And then fold it like this here and then pin and next is to take it to the tight and then you remember the notched part of your then you place it here you place it like this on the notched part you place the edge on it and then pin it together and you pin it around Pin it around. You pin the other edge to the notched part, to the other notched part. And then continue to pin them around. So after pinning everything around, you go back to your sewing machine and sew them together. You sew the band to the, to the shirt. And then it may require you to stretch your band a bit, but just make sure you sew it nicely and you get a better result. So here's what we have. The waistband is attached to the shirt itself. And then the last thing is to go ahead and hem the bottom of your shirt or your tights. Here's the biker shirt. Please like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love you for watching. Thank you.